Are you looking for the best mirrorless camera? In this video, we will break down the top mirrorless cameras on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best mirrorless camera, we've included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting off at number 1, we have the Sony a7 III. When combining value and performance, the Sony a7 III is easily the best full-frame mirrorless camera on the market. Its speed, autofocus, dynamic range, and image and video quality are all simply fantastic. Add to that the fact that the body costs less than $2,000, and it really can't be beaten here in 2020. The a7 III's 24 megapixel sensor has a full 15 stops of dynamic range and an ISO range of 100 to 51,200. This makes it one of the best low light cameras available, with 693 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection areas. The Sony a7III's lightning fast hybrid autofocus system rockets past all of the top DSLRs. The autofocus also excels during continuous shooting mode, keeping the subject in focus even at 10 frames per second. Frankly, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to get great images with this camera. It's fast, fun, and simply a joy to use. In the video world, the Sony a7III's 4K video footage comes out impressively detailed, even with frame rates up to 30 frames per second. At 24 frames per second, the Sony a7III uses oversampled 6K video to downsize to 4K with no crop. Add to that the low light performance and ISO range, and you get beautiful footage every time. There are also plenty of video capture features, including HLG and log footage, slow motion capture, and zebra warnings for exposure and focus peaking. The headphone and mic jacks are a nice touch as well. If you're a handheld shooter, you'll be pleased to note that the a7 III has excellent 5-axis sensor shift image and body stabilization that works as well in the field as the specs claim. It makes shooting at night handheld a doable undertaking and allows you to take advantage of lower ISOs than you'd normally have to use. Still photos, video, studio, landscapes, action photography, long exposures, this camera is amazing no matter what use you put it to. At number 2, we have the Fujifilm X-T3. You don't have to be a Fujifilm fan to fall in love with the Fujifilm X-T3. It does just about everything, and everything it does, it does well. Want to just shoot and go? The JPEGs that come out of this little beauty are killer, and need next to no processing. Want full raw control? The X-Trans 4 sensor captures more information than any other Fujifilm mirrorless camera, allowing ample room for recovering shadows or pulling back highlights. The autofocus of some of Fuji's X-Series lags a bit, but not the X-T3. The 425 selectable AF points really nail it, even in continuous shooting mode, making this the best Fuji camera for sports photography and anything involving a fast-moving subject. The manual dials and analog look of the X-T3's camera body really make for a unique, tactile shooting experience in this digital age. There is something deeply satisfying about the feel of a physical dial when adjusting settings like aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. It certainly beats having to dig into a menu. While the Fujifilm X-T3 is a great all-rounder with stills, it really hits home when it comes to video. You'll be hard-pressed to find more video recording options on any other mirrorless camera. The 4K video is lightning fast at 60 frames per second, and if you don't want to do your own color grading, the new Atima color mode turns out fantastic footage. The only real issue with the video is that the LCD screen doesn't flip around for vlogging. Everything else is just fantastic. At number 3, we have the Sony a7R4. If you're looking for the utmost in image quality, the new Sony a7R4 is where it's at, and the pinnacle of the current Sony Alpha range. The only place you'd find higher resolution is in a medium format camera, and few of those can match the Sony a7R4 in features. On top of the impressive megapixel count, the Sony a7R4's Exmor R CMOS sensor offers 15 stops of dynamic range. This, along with its standard ISO range of 100 to 32,000, makes it an exceptional performer in low light conditions, turning out low noise images even with the higher pixel count. As far as autofocus is concerned, the a7R4's 567 autofocus points literally blow the competitors out of the water. All the other high-resolution cameras have fewer than 160 AF points, DSLRs medium format, and mirrorless cameras alike. It even outdoes the Sony a7 III. Despite its high resolution, the Sony a7R4 reaches up to 10 frames per second in burst shooting. The new tracking algorithm is also quite impressive. Once the autofocus locks onto a subject, it follows it everywhere. Like the Sony a7III, the a7R4 comes with excellent 5-axis image stabilization. Other features include a more rugged build and better weather sealing than its predecessor, the a7R3. There's also more refined controls and a much-needed larger grip. When shooting video, the a7R4 offers full width and APS-C crops for both 1080p and 4K. The AF tracking during 4K video capture is quite impressive, and the level of detail in the footage is best in its class. There are also plenty of video capture tools, including zebra exposure warnings, focus peaking, and a variety of log modes. 
One downer is that the footage is only 8-bit, but this is unsurprising considering how difficult it is for a sensor to capture high resolution and read out quickly enough to produce good video footage. Still, that's literally the only limitation. In the end, the high resolution and portability of the a7R 4 make it one of the best cameras for landscapes, portraits, and weddings. Anywhere you require the best image quality for print, or the ability to crop heavily and not lose quality. At number 4, we have the Nikon Z6. Nikon's answer to the amazing Sony mirrorless cameras came out last year with the launch of the Nikon Z6 and the 46 megapixel Nikon Z7. While the Z7 is more of a landscape and portrait camera, the Z6 is, like the Sony a7 III, an impressive, more affordable all-rounder. The Z6's build quality is top of the line, with the ruggedness you've come to expect from Nikon bodies. In fact, it's quite likely the best build mirrorless full-frame camera on the market right now, with great ergonomics to match. Nikon aficionados will find its controls and menus quite familiar, as they mirror Nikon's DSLR line. There's even a top plate LCD that DSLR shooters will readily appreciate. One thing that is quite different, though, is the lens mount. Nikon ditches the old F mount in lieu of the new Z mount, which is designed to let in more light to the Z series sensor. In fact, a new manual focus 58mm .95S lens is expected very soon. Talk about a fast lens. At the moment though, there aren't many native lenses available for either the Z6 or Z7. Luckily, most F-mount lenses will work just fine with the new FTZ mount adapter, although at around $250, it's not cheap. Another thing that stands out in the build of the Nikon Z6 is the fantastic electronic viewfinder. It's crisp, clear, and boasts an exceptionally high resolution. The downside of this is that the 60Hz refresh rate is a bit slow, especially when shooting in burst mode. The touchscreen is also quite beautiful, but for some reason lacks touchscreen autofocus while you're looking through the viewfinder. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the Canon EOS RP. If you're looking for a full-frame mirrorless camera that won't break the bank, the Canon EOS RP might be for you. Its feature set is relatively modest compared to other models on this list, but it's well-built, turns out excellent JPEGs, and is affordably priced. See the latest price here. We left out its big brother the Canon EOS R from our video, since the RP offers much better bang for the buck. Image quality is marginally better with the R, notably in low light, and video features are more advanced. But for the money, the RP is the best option for most photographers. Despite being so light, the build and handling is excellent and it feels great in the hand. The front and rear dials allow you to adjust shutter and aperture settings. The other dials and settings all seem to be in the perfect place and everything is customizable. The Canon EOS RP's small size does lend to a few limitations however. For example, there's only a single UHS-2 card slot, and the tiny battery only offers about 250 shots per charge. Performance-wise, the Canon EOS RP does well though. Its dual-pixel autofocus system performs admirably. It's also the king of low-light shooting at the moment. In fact, many say it's the best low-lighting shooting camera out there of all the sub-$2,000 camera models. The 26.2 megapixels in the Canon EOS RP sensor ensures plenty of detail and make it a great beginner full-frame for landscape and portrait photographers. The high resolution gets in the way of the camera's burst speed though, with only 5 frames per second in single shot autofocus mode and 4 frames per second in continuous mode. Strangely, the Canon EOS RP's dynamic range leaves much to be desired. Images taken in RAW are noisier than they should be, especially when compared to the camera's peers. That undoes a bit of the low light shooting experience. Unlike many full frame mirrorless cameras, the LCD screen flips fully around. This is great for vlogging, as long as you don't need anything very complicated from the footage. The video features on the Canon EOS RP are a bit mediocre, and the rolling shutter, cropped 4K video, and 8-bit recording leave much to be desired. So that sums up the top mirrorless camera. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.